hi everybody yeah not just my hands you get my big face too <laughs> um, good to see you glad you've made that good decision to come and see my video um, if you're not already a subscriber after you're through watching me I'm sure you're gonna want to subscribe right yeah <laughs> hit that button thumbs up on the YouTube player if you like me um, and if you don't either or up down comments are always awesome what you're seeing me doing is just kneading some clay conditioning some clay and I always do it inside of a cellophane wrap clear wrap depending on what country you're in they call it many different things but it's just plastic wrap clear wrap can't think of another <laughs> can't think of another name but I'm sure there is one mm-hmm all right, well, I'm going to do that because we're going to make something to accent what I have down below. And what we're going to try today is I am going to try to talk into where I should, which is right up there, right? Are you feeling eye contact now? So sorry about that. Didn't know about that. Year and a half. Didn't know about that. <laughs> so hi. Um, sorry, it looked like I was looking at myself, but I was actually thinking I was looking at you but um, somebody told me hey you gotta look in the camera section of your phone oh I oh, you know oh lights go off how dumb is that only 200 and some videos of me looking at myself and you guys thinking would you stop looking at yourself so no longer can I look at self looking in that little black Face, which isn't very fun to look at. So let's get started. I'm going to move the camera down so that we can get ready for our project. Okay? And today we're going to be using wood. Yes, I got some wonderful craft wood. And right now, let me make sure that I'm coming down properly. Okay. Got this little mat here. Yes, we got plenty of room over here. No, no, actually, it's right there. Okay, right there. Whoa, whoa. All right, how far do I go to over here? Just about right there. Okay, I've been working on my camera angle, guys. You got to give me thumbs up on at least that, right? It sucked, the other videos. I was analyzing. I'm going, my goodness, how could anybody learn from this? You know, there was just not... It was too far. The camera was not adjusted right. So now it should be right on top of everything. Let me grab my specs, put them on so I can see what I'm going to do. That would be helpful, right guys? Now, I pre-did these wood, wood pieces that I bought. And I will have to, It's her name's Beth. And um, she sends texts out all the time. She goes live and it's I'm drawing a blank. But I will not draw a blank by the end of the video. I will let you know who inspired me. Not really inspired me for the project, but where you can get some of the most beautiful and that a pretty rose I did. Um, where you can get cute, cute pieces of wood like this. Look how cute that is. Is that not cute? Now my husband could do this. But he doesn't have time, he works too much, you know. And when he's home, he's working in the yard or, you know, something on the house. So he keeps pretty busy. Anyway, so he don't have really time. We do have the saw and all that stuff. And I don't know how to use a big saw. I have a little one. And it probably could handle this. But let's just call myself lazy. How about that? I was lazy. And I wanted some of her wood. Her wood is awesome. I've been using it since I started crafting. Okay, Beth, I will give you a better shout out later. Let's go. Okay, what we have, we got three of these cute little pieces. And what I was thinking about doing them is something like that. Give you a look see. And, you know, then I was thinking, well, maybe I come in with that on the front. That was pretty. And I thought about wrapping some twine. And then my mind went to, hey, you know, I've never did a paint pour or a swipe with a paint pour or anything like that uh, on wood. So why not give it a try? So I gave the, the uh, wood all a coat of gesso. Oops. 
hope I didn't mess up the camera there. Okay, Gesso. That should be coming through loud and clear. So, Liquidex Basics Acrylic Gesso. And it seals the pores or porous material that want. I keep bumping my head on the camera. Um, and it'll seal up the pores is what I'm trying to say and it would have would you know absorbs paint so I wanted to put something on there that it's not going to absorb my paint pour <laughs> and I'm hoping for some pretty cells and things like that and we'll probably do it from the top to the bottom type of a swipe naturally individual and done okay now the first thing though that we're going to start with because it's got to get to drying is what we a cute little adornment of this little setup here i'm not sure whether to call it a church or or what it is at this point you and i will discover together <laughs> discover it or actually you know what because it is so time consuming the clay part and i have so many videos on it how about we do this let's just go for something we haven't done before since they're all primed and ready and make sure there's no kitty cat hair and things like that that since my cat prior to doing the video decided to come by and give love you know I can't say no to that <laughs> but unfortunately no I should have done because I can see some of her cat hair his cat hair excuse me kit cat got on my uh, table so I think we're we're hair free it's always a good even if you don't have an animal to knock your stuff around and clean it up and things like that <laughs> oh my god it dropped into oblivion <laughs> Okay, mom's <laughs> got her color show. So fucking hot. Fucking him.
it. Unless you want to go tinky. Do you want to go tinky outside? Mama going to go tinky? Okay. Let me plug this in just a moment. <laughs> you know, I'm going this away. I'm going this away. Yeah, mommy going to work. Did it get up here for work? There she is. Does her want to say hi? Does her want to say hi? <laughs> oh, baby went tinky, huh? I feel her little butt butt it went tink tink. Let's see if we can see our Bella. There she is. Say hi. Hi. <laughs> okay. Just want to make sure you say hello to Bella. She's a stinky little mess right now. She needs a bath later. Yes. You ready to jump down? Here she goes. The slide. The slide. <laughs> Good girl. Good girl, Bella. I love you. I love you. Everyone loves you. Yes. I should make your own little um, Facebook page, huh? It says, just for Bella. Bolissimo Bella. Yes. <laughs> with 30 names. You gonna be with Mommy while she works? Sorry about that, guys, but I had to share the moment. <laughs> She's so wonderful. Um, also, I went and checked to see if some things were dry and how things were coming along. I haven't even posted the video yet because I want to make sure there was no cracking, you know, all that bad stuff we don't want. We didn't get it. Yay. Is it a pretty bloom to you? Let me know in comments if you like the bloom. Now, we also did a swipe. I haven't posted this one either because I want to make sure, you know, you don't want to post something you know, and then somebody wants to buy it, and I'm like, can't buy it, because when it dried, it cracked. Oh. <laughs> so, no worries here, right? Isn't that beautiful? I love the colors, and I love the lacing. It took me a little bit of bravery to come up with doing the swipe. Now, I can see I'm a little thin on the swipe up here. And um, I can see some beautiful things happening. A lot of caterpillaring, I would say, or lacing. Maybe that's a better word, right? Lacing. We got some lacing going on. Oh, yeah. It makes me feel like the beach. I don't know about anybody else. Let me know what it looks like to you. Okay, that was number two. See, y'all think I was doing this and all these time, all this time, but vacationing big time on Fourth of July. Well, I'm not. 
I've been working for you. All right, here's the third one. I know I'm being goofy as heck today, but I thought this peppermint patty <laughs> is what I thought of at first. The peppermint patty candy that you suck on, you know, peppermint patty. Am I too old? Don't have peppermint candy anymore. I think they do. I see it at Christmas time. But I use the pearl white as a swipe. And I like it, like it. Alright, no crackage, no nothing. We do have some cells, a lot of lacing again, caterpillar cells, abundant. Let's try oh, never mind another video okay but anyway thought I'd show you that things are turning out all right my belly is still as big as ever <laughs> okay hmm, we got it girl all right uh, let's get on with our project wouldn't that be good I know I'm trying to kind of procrastinating aren't I yeah playing with my dog looking at my other projects getting ready though here we go let's put our projects to the side to bring back out because we are going to use them again they will go to a second level um, by second level meaning I will add another media to it and it'll grow and I love this and I'm pretty sure it's going to be what guys a butterfly Aren't I the butterfly queen? I, it seems to be all I do lately is a, a lot of butterflies and a lot of blooms. Alright. Now, put, I'm going to move the camera back where it needs to be. Down here. And I got to turn literally upside down to see if, and it's hard to see because I got this glaring at my eyeballs. Okay. There we go, right there. What am I seeing? Okay, just the very, very tip, okay. Most everything else is over here, over here. So we're going to move over here. Okay, my glasses on, move my cuttings away. Now what I try to do on my channel is make things to be able to be done by everyone whether they have an art degree to whether they've never did a piece of art in their life and they just want to try something and they want to succeed oh sorry Bella hey, baby I didn't know I'm not going nowhere babies she said I was getting up to go in and she's laying on my feet which I have neuropathy of the feet so it's like please please come back okay we're still on record good okay tape your sides off okay I don't want uh, any of the paint pour dribbling over my side uh, because our sides are going to be painted and also the back is going to be painted. Not all in the same color is what I'm kind of feeling. And uh, so go around after you've taped it, make sure there's going to be no bleeds onto your side. Okay. Well, all of them. I started to say especially the big tall one, but it doesn't matter. None of them need any bleed through. So I'm using a good, well, the car type of tape is better for taping off paintings, but I don't have that. But I do have the blue tape for painting, so it shouldn't bleed. I don't want it to bleed. Okay. Once you've got it all covered up with your blue tape, then make yourself a stand of some sort i'm using these silly little things i keep them from well actually i got these from um dollar tree and they come in a big package they're very fragile they'll break real easy um i try to save the plastic ones that come from nyquil and things like that recycle okay here we go i've got us a little bit more together here and ready to go Cat in yellow, Windsor Newton. We're going to be using some yellow, Windsor Newton. It's a cat in yellow. Now, I usually use all Arteza paints, but this one in particular is not. Uh, also, this light looks like I did a couple with that. Yeah. 
Oh, quite a few. Three, looks like, we're going to be using. But this beautiful red light, uh, red, is beautiful, but by Winsor & Newton as well. And uh, I'm glad that I mark my paint on their lids so that I can remember stuff like that. Okay, and we're also going to be using another Winsor and Mutant. Mutant. Winsor and Newton. <laughs> it's called Perlin Maroon Red. So, uh, on the red side, still warm. We've got that color. Perlin, P E R Y L E N E, Maroon. I apparently saw it and said, yes, love it. And made a little. Uh, uh, palette uh, mix of, of these colors. Okay, the rest are, yes, all are teas. Okay, and now this color I mixed, and it's pink. So, where it goes or if it goes, I don't know. That's kind of the way I work. I kind of just start pulling out um, colors that I think would look good. Here's uh, another one that I like. It's a uh, it's from Windsor Newton again. It's a shadow black. Um, again, so glad I labeled everything for everybody. I do have some just uh, titanium white. This is by Apple Barrel. It's been in here a little while, looks like. Got a little bit of stickage. All right. And then we will be going into a blue as well. Okay. Da -da 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 -da. The big one I want to start out with, I want it to be a, a nice bright red with some, um, hopefully, maybe some cells, activity of yellow popping through. So, fingers crossed, here's our little cup. I'm going to do, <laughs> for fun, a flip cup on this uh, barrel here. Um, let me just grab my sticks, and uh, if it looks like each one of these needs a little more attention, then I will pause it so that we don't waste your time, because we do want our paints to have a particular consistency. They all have to be the same consistency. That's the bottom rule. If you are one that likes to have it very runny, then they all have to be runny, runny. If you like them thicker, they all have to be thicker. Um, now for me, that's too, is it on this? No, I don't think it is. Okay, the red. Okay, came in here. Just I hadn't opened it yet, just to check consistency. Got some air popping going on, bubbles going, because I'm giving it kind of a quick stir. But uh, yeah, way, way, way too, too thick. So I'll be sending that down. Let's try our maroon. Where we are on that? These are all colors I've mixed, just never went ahead and used yet. So, so I was hoping for no mixing and fussing, but it looks like a little fussing needs to happen there. And let's check our yellow. So we really want that one to pop. And I'm going to try for lacing. I do want lacing this time, so let's see what I get. Alright, this yellow is very runny, that's okay. Because I'm going to be bringing everything up to the same level, and you'll see it'll be like honey. It'll drip off your, your stick like they say, just like honey. Now there's one. You see how that drips right off? She makes a small mound and disappears really quickly. Okay, you gotta try our black. And this is what you'll do every single time you do a, a pour. You gotta check your paints. Huh. See, that's beautiful. Runs right off the, stri the stick just like honey. Makes a small mound and disappears. So our black from Windsor & Newton stayed very nice inside its container. And here's some titanium white. Again, Windsor & Newton. I believe I said that. Yeah, this one's a little thick too. Alright, two seconds. Just in case someone doesn't know, one of the ways that I do when I see that my, my paint is, is too thick is I give it a couple spritzes of uh, water. And uh, that's what I've done here because I, already, I know that I've already put in my Liquid-X medium. Whatever medium that you're using is already in there and it's still a little bit thick. 
and you know you put enough of that medium in make sure you know that then uh, and it's still a little bit too thick when you come back to it to use it like me then just give it a couple spritz of water a little bit at a time and work it into your paint because it's going to be lots of bubbles at first and everything uh, it is acrylic paint which is a water-based uh, color uh, paint so just giving it a good mix this was a Windsor and Newton as well yes it's coming along but do you see the difference big big mound and taking quite a bit of time to sink so I got, went ahead and gave it another good joust of water I, I do a little usually a little smaller to, smaller than that but since we're on camera and I'm trying to move a little bit faster along here I need my apron too guys yeah <laughs> I have ruined so many clothes doing these paint pours that I have to remember to wear that apron. Even though what I'm wearing has paint on it and it's paint clothes, you know, at least I present myself a little bit better to y'all. So, I'll make sure to go get that as soon as I'm done with this mixing. Now, all the paints we're gonna, are, like I said, going to be the same consistency. And then we're going to come back and we're going to get started. And our barn here is going to be bright red is what I really want to come out, have come out uh, with white lacing. Oh, still a little bit more needed here. Okay, well, I do, I'll do this. Uh, taking up your time here. Okay, we are at the point where we're going to put, because I did say I do hope, I'm hoping for some sales and more of a lacing type of situation so i'm just and not more is not better when it comes to putting um silicone in your cup i wanted to just show you right there i that was a really good just uh, solid one two drop and that can happen on these little popsicle sticks you can get at the dollar tree very very reasonably priced i um what did I say it was reasonably priced? <laughs> Everything at Dollar Tree is really reasonably priced. So these little containers, these little containers came from Dollar Tree, the popsicle stick, all the little stuff that you know you don't want to put out a bunch of money for. I get at the Dollar Tree, but they've raised their prices to 25 cents more, and then I've seen some stuff for five bucks. Might as well call yourself Dollar General now. So, you know, with all these crafters making you a fortune, I can't imagine why you would need to raise your prices, Dollar Tree. So, this particular red, because it's so much to it, I'm, I added an extra drop. They say that adding extra doesn't do anything really other than make your canvas oily. But I am going to go three on the thicker paint there that I had. And even in this black, well, I sit there and then roll my, there we go, two. And this a cute little bottle. Guess where this came? Yeah, the Dollar Tree. <laughs> it holds my silicone. And um, if anybody, oh, I need to mix up some golden, uh, golden from uh, Arteza too before we get started but back to this silicone what do I use right coconut serum get it at Walmart anti breakage serum do not get the oil add on the oil thumbs up on the serum okay nine bucks it was it it's gonna last me a lifetime the bottle was only that big but you know held a lot and well it held this much in this large cute container makes me feel so fancy okay I'm gonna put my lid on it and put it back here because I've applied what I needed to and I need to get some golden hue out all right I mixed it up now it's Arteza acrylic colors premium 
pearl golden hour beautiful color a metallic and also a beautiful color I just can't you're gonna see it because I'm, I'm hoping some of that will come through here with our red what I'm thinking right now is kind of a red barn scene with the wood and everything you'll just have to stay tuned because I actually know very little about how this is all going to turn out and if I keep bumping the camera yes you're still in view yes okay but I need you a little more my way so let's see if I can keep you in camera yeah no it needs to be a little bit more that way it just does so we'll work with it okay here we go um, this barn I want it to be very very red do you know that? I'm going to swipe with white. You know that. What else do we not know, though? What do we not know? I'm going to make up maybe another shade of red. Um, 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 um. No, not really, actually. I think I'm going to stick with the beautiful golds and the red, and then we're going to swipe with uh, white. With white. Maybe, you know what, I'll swipe with the pearl white that I got. All right, well, let's do, or, or swipe with the pearl white, excuse me. At first, what I'm going to do is just lay down some colors in a flip cup. And we're going to just see what we get for fun. And then, uh, if I don't like it, then we'll do the swipe. We'll, we'll just see. All right, so I want to start layering my cup. All right, we're gonna mix our paint. Here we go. We're gonna start out with some white at the bottom. And I'm just jumping right on in with the red. Because, oh, looks like I can't pour today. <laughs> All right, we got a little of that going on. Now I thought I would come in with some of that beautiful golden hue by Aztec. There we go. Maybe maybe do a sandwich. What you know what they say? The sandwich is is the same color on the very very bottom of your cup and you end with that same color at the very, very top. That's called a sandwich. Isn't that cute? <laughs> thought that was kind of cute. Cute. I want to get every bit out of my little uh, mixer here. Oh. We had a little interruption there, a little visitor. All right. Now, let's do our flip cut. The traditional way is to lift it up, yeah, you know, and do that. Or some people are just, they're brave enough just to do it. Well, I'm not as brave, okay? I like to do mine this way. Okay, then there's no seepage or anything that's going to fall out. And then I'm going to just maybe give it a little tapsy tap, tapsy tapsy. Get some things out of the way. Because the messy part has begun. <laughs> it's really not that bad. I'm not going to be blowing or anything with the blow dryer. It's, we're just going to let it do whatever it wants to do. And if I don't like it, then I'm going to come through with a swipe. Oh yeah, I knew I had way too much paint, didn't I? Oh well. I don't have any t trouble covering up any... I won't have any problems covering up any corners and right away that's the main problem was the corners weren't being filled. <laughs> Alrighty, yeah. Ooh, looks like I'm into peppermint candies these days. This kind of has that feel for me as well. So I'm just gonna ooh, flick it on myself. Oh good, it landed on the napkin. Yay! <laughs> 
This laugh of mine, by the way, I hate my laugh. I know y'all probably go, that. I wish you'd stop laughing. It is a horrible laugh. I know where I got it from, and that on top of it makes it worse, because I can't stand it. <laughs> if you laugh like somebody that you don't really like, <laughs> I don't know, you, do. you laugh at it. Okay, we just be sitting here Letting that paint just run right away. Now I'm going to save that paint. As I'm kind of just letting it rest here. This is one of our boards. And what you do is you use one of these little guys. Come in there. Scoop it up. Doesn't matter the mix at this point. Because whatever new color we get always seems to be fantastic. And super pretty somewhere, you know, like for instance, I discovered that I made Viridian Green the other day, and I can only get that through Windsor & Newton that I thought of anyway, that I thought I couldn't get it any other way, but actually, ooh, got a hair hijacker right over there in the trash, there you go, and um, I stumbled upon it by accident by just picking up the paint that ran off. So that was quite a bit of pain. I should be with the left brain artist and do all that he does. He he actually can times the size of your canvas times ounces and the amount of paint that you're going to need to cover it up. Yeah. Goes through all that stuff. Weighs it out. Has a little wear. Yeah. By the time I do all that, I'd be out of the mood for painting, though. That's my problem. But he is a, a paint porist, theorist, theor I don't know if I'm saying it right. But anyway, really smart guy. How about that? He even named himself right. The left brained artist. I have no left brain. None. There was a test, actually, you could take, you know, to find out whether you're more right-brained or left-brained. Have you guys heard of that? I have, and uh, there was very little left-brain in me. It was all, I was all right-brained, creative side. Always thinking of something to make. That is me. I do that. be going to sleep and be thinking about what should I make tomorrow you know all right well I've wasted your time here enough we've got the first board going let me uh, put you on pause for a momento kind of look over my situation and decide whether or not to swipe Okay, we're going to see if we can get any cells at all. I mean, there's some here and I haven't even torched yet. Not that I'm looking for mega giant ones either. Um, we just want something uh, to show some uh, interest in texture. So all that said, let's get to torching. Oh, that gold is coming out. I was hoping for a little more gold, though. Let me do a swipe. Hmm, yeah. Uh, okay, well, you know what? We're going to just uh, go with it. It is pretty. It, you can't say that, that it is not pretty. So we're going to go with it, and uh, I'm going to set it over here to dry. Let you guys get a good look. It is so hard to look upside down to see if you're getting any looks. Okay, here we go. We're going to be rolling right along. We have our second 
piece of wood here making sure that's all in view it's much smaller so we're gonna and plus I had way too much paint the last time so we're gonna just do a little little bit of paint in our cup okay not going crazy again um, I really wanted a little bit more let's see I want more red so let's see what I can do and I'm gonna definitely swipe on this one I think we're gonna start us with a little bit there we go just like honey beautiful so I think we're gonna start out with our maroon oh I see. that's funny that's that's just too funny is it gonna come out yeah <laughs> Look was hijacking my cup. Well, that's fine though. That'd be just fine. I get a better knowledge anyway. It's and plus y'all can see it too, right? Okay, next color I wanted to do. I definitely want a very red barn. That's about all the paint I think that this little gal can can do. And I want to do a swipe, so. Maybe just a little bit of yellow, not a lot. Um, okay, got a while. Right there. That's our flip cup. And I am going to go like that towards somewhere towards the middle. Set it up there. Hopes it I actually did a video just not too recently back. <laughs> was completely out of focus so you guys didn't get to see a thing and I had done some really cool th stuff like I did some painting with just using a popsicle stick <laughs> just to show you that you can paint with just about anything there you go nice little muddied up little area there huh I thought I would just do a kind of a movement around. Reminds me of a red rose. I could get my blow dryer out to try to move the paint a little bit, but I am going to do a swipe, so I'm just concerned with just getting as much as I can covered. Torsionist. <laughs> moving all these weird angles on. There we go. That's good. That's good. Just like that. I love that color. Isn't that pretty? I think it's pretty. And I don't want to lose any more. So with the swipe, let's just go ahead for it. Have it all ready right here. Just pour some on one of the ends I tend on working. That I tend on working. Sound like old heel, Billy. A million paper towels around me, but when you need one, where are they? Just kidding around. There it is. Got us a towel. I do it this a different, um, not really different, but um, there's only one other person that I seen doing it using a tissue is AB Creative. She's awesome, by the way. Anyway, what you do is just let your wet part of the napkin, which is right at the edge, let that kind of soak in a little bit. And then you're going to drag it. And drag it. There we go. Didn't lose that much paint either. It's good. Alright, so there comes our lacing. 
Let's go ahead and give it a torch. And pop any bubbles. I see some bubbles that need popping. I keep forgetting I'm on a turntable and I can turn it, Crystal. The, um, a fan blowing on me because that's hot and I'm wondering if that isn't affecting this a little bit. I should be getting some majorly big cells here. But not so much, am I? How about I'm going to do a swipe again going the other direction. Whoops, going the other direction. I think I am anyway, if I have some more. Yeah, I do. I have some more. I have some more. Oh, here comes some cells, finally. Well, that's good. Well, I'm going to let it rest here a minute before I decide the second swipe or not. I won't make you sit through it. Okay, third one is here. Yes, visible. Yes, I do keep sticking my head up because you are complete. The camera is completely like this, so I gotta look up underneath <laughs> to make. Because I didn't yesterday, and I'm you guys missed out on some awesome painting. I've started feeling really creative. I started using a popsicle stick. I made the most beautiful painting and lost all the footage. Yeah, wasn't happy. Okay, now let's get started with our last little flip cup. I'm gonna stick with one of these cuties. These little cuties. I want to do blue. I want to do blue. So, I think what I might do is I'm going to come in with just a little of this. Just a little. A little that was Mars Black, by the way. And this is uh, by Arteza, I think it said, yeah, Arteza Light Ultramarine Blue. Oh yeah, not liking its consistency. Won't be going that direction. Give me a second. Okay, now, I've had another interruption at the door. I think we're back at quiet again. Maybe, maybe not. Ending this with some of this... Uh, I've got way too much in my cup. We're going to do a flip cup. Moving right along. It's going to be all day by the time I finish this uh, project with all the interruptions I've had. Complain, 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 right? All right. Tapped it enough. Yep. <laughs> didn't, oh, and I didn't tap really quite long enough because I can see there is... Uh, there's other colors in this besides this beautiful blue, but they'll come out. They'll come out to play, hopefully. But I am going to do a swipe, so. I'm trying to get up there and make sure that's all good. There. Okay. That's a beautiful color, huh? Very patriotic like my hands, which is a huge mess. Just looking for my swiping towel, making sure that was ready. Oh, there goes my cat strutting by. Hi, Miss Kitty. How are thee today? Let's see. What I think I'll do is go from the bottom of the... Uh, little thing I'm holding on to out of my hand. There we go. Boy, I'm not a good hand-eye coordinator here. The left brain artist would be very ashamed of me the way <laughs> I'm doing my paints. But I do save them, okay, guy? Now, where did my little swipe paper go? 
it just up and blew away. Oh my goodness, how silly, huh? Glad there's no rush to this, right? You get all the time in the world, don't you? Not. Okay, go ahead. After you've dampened your paper towel, all you're doing is gently laying it on type of your swiping mix and you're pulling might do a little jig jag jig jaggedy that I did that I did kind of did a little dropsy drop drop there I don't care for too awful awful much Yes, I am coming through with some of that. Ooh, isn't that pretty? I have to say, that is really pretty. And I can't see. Let me do that for a minute. Okay, yeah, you're in, you're in frame. So, I have to lift it up. Just a dripping away. I haven't torched it. I'm liking the colors that I'm getting and the way that they're they're coming together. And I don't want it to roll anymore. What I was, uh, what I learned from the left brain artist too is he says that um, the reason the paint continues to want to fall off is either you're not level or you have some on the side and that side will continually try to pull down so you end up losing the pretty art because it just keeps on, you know, rolling off the side. So a good thing to do, he says, is to wipe those sides. And he is not a fan of covering the sides, though he does sometimes, because it's so pretty. But one of the reasons is this. So the paint will stop rolling. I'm trying to get a dry finger here. I'm loving that. I don't even want to torch it. It's just absolutely gorgeous. I love it. So we're going to have... Um, Kind of a maroon red a light red and then we have this beautiful blue and uh, we're to take it from there so let's let this dry and uh, i will be back with you to uh, well let's see let's just try a torch since we didn't uh, torch and i've got just enough butane so see if there's anything. I, I was kind of hoping for a little black light and black coming up from the bottom, but that may not be going to happen. And not going to be a happening. There you go. Oh, lordy, lordy, lordy. Yeah, I don't see anything else going to happen. It just, what happened, happened in the beginning. I don't know. There you go. I love it, though. It absolutely gave me cells, it, it gave me life, and it'll make our project really pretty. I love that blue. I may do the one of them in blue or something, change it up. I don't know. We'll see. Okay. On to step two in 24 to 48 hours, so I'll have a part one and part two. This is part one. Thank you for joining me. <laughs> see you on the next one. Well, actually, I'm going to see you on part two. <laughs>